One day we were having lunch with a colleague of ours and she actually pulled out a parking ticket and she looked at us and said, oh man, if you guys could actually make an app where I can pay for parking on my phone, I would absolutely use it. Thus, Meter Feeder was born. We want to get rid of the pain of finding and paying for parking. My name is Dan Lepretto. I'm the founder and CTO of Meter Feeder. My name is James Gibbs, and I am the acting president and founder of Meter Feeder Inc. Meter Feeder can allow you to pay for parking just right from your smartphone. One of the pain points that it solves for myself is when I'm in a meeting or I'm actually at lunch or what have you, and I have to pay for parking, I don't have to leave the restaurant or I don't have to leave the office or the meeting so that I can pay for parking. It sends me a push notification and I can just right there from my phone repay for some more time. So when people first come into the application, we just walk them through, hold their hand step by step to make sure that they're able to park and have absolutely no problem. We use GPS so they know which zone they happen to be in and they also know which rates that they currently have to pay. So we use uh, Node.js uh, on our server side to power our API, and uh, we have the servers running on Rackspace's uh, cloud servers. So we use MongoDB in Object Rocket. There aren't very many other companies that have a turnkey scalable solution like Object Rocket. We just simply created an account, logged in, and we were able to create a replication set in minutes. Our app is actually a hybrid app and we used Ionic Framework that actually leverages the power of AngularJS. So we have AngularJS, a JavaScript framework, talking to Node.js, which is more JavaScript, which is talking to JavaScript in, in the database. So MongoDB just seemed like a no-brainer. So now we have the ability to grab uh, actual JavaScript object and just pass it right to the front end, and the front end knows exactly what to do with it. We've been using Rackspace for a very long time. Not needing to worry about the server infrastructure is really important to us. I actually started developing software in 1983, and I am a software developer at heart. I really don't want to go into server management or anything along those lines, but from a developer standpoint, the only thing that I needed to do was click a few buttons they gave me the connection string that I could plop directly into the code, and then all I had to worry about is choosing the correct shard key, and I was off to the races. I would absolutely recommend it to my peers. To my competitors, no. I mean, if you think about it, that's, that's our advantage. I don't have to do anything, and it's so cost-effective that it becomes an absolute no-brainer for me to just actually go in and just start developing. You can find us at meterfeederapp.com. Feel free to like us on Facebook. And you can follow us on Twitter at meterfeederapp.